Hello everyone, this is Kiki, and this video I am using fuse beads, or perler beads, or whatever you want to call them, beads. The beads that you stick on a pegboard and then you iron them and mill them and it's a thing. <laughs> um, I really need to plan out what I'm going to say more. But I actually did this back before the Wind Waker bead artwork thing that I did. This is actually the one that I did right after uh, I did the Wishsayer one where I first got the beads. Uh, I had meant to post it before Linktober started, but that didn't happen. Uh, so I'm posting it after Linktober now. But this was really fun to do. It was pretty relaxing, even in the slightly more frustrating parts when I was running out of beads and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to finish this and it's taking up all this space and I don't have the beads and I was having trouble finding the right color of beads, so that was a whole adventure. Uh, in total, working on it, this took a little more than 14 hours, which honestly, for as big as it is, isn't too bad, I don't think. Um, I actually, when I put all of the video clips together and saw that that's all it was, I was pretty surprised. It felt like it was a lot longer, <laughs> but probably just because I can only work on them on the weekends, so it was spread out over a long amount of time. But this bead art is based on a pixel art I did, I want to say two years ago now? Maybe a little more? No. I think I did it early 2020, actually, because that pixel art was actually based on a thing that I did in Animal Crossing New Horizon. So if this is like the third time I've actually done this artwork, technically, <laughs> I guess. Um, when I did it in Animal Crossing, it was a little more simple, and then when I did it on the computer, I made it a little bit more intricate, even though it was still pixel, and then when I put it here, it got a little bit more complicated even. Um, mostly because I didn't have enough of the colors to match the ones in the picture itself, so I had to mix in a bunch of other blues and greens and other such things. I, rhymed without meaning to. Um, I used pretty much all of my blues from the one set of beads that I got. I had to purchase a lot more beads in order to finish this. And once I had finished the sky, and I pretty much had absolutely no blue left. I think I had maybe a total of 20 blues between the four different blue colors. The lightest blue I used all of, and then the second lightest blue I used almost all of. So I had to find more blue, and I was like, what am I going to do? I can't finish it. Uh, and some people were saying, well, since you're putting something in the middle of it, why not, since, since you're doing it like a shadow box and, and putting something in the middle, just take out what's behind those the, the thing that's in the middle, uh, behind, behind Chibiritsu, and just fill it in with random color, that way you have, the, I'm like, that's really smart and I don't know why I didn't think about it. So I was just going to fill it in with like a random solid color or something, or like two colors. Uh, but then I got a cool idea for what to do in the back, so you'll see that. Um, but yeah, green, I also nearly completely ran out of green. Uh, green was a lot harder to find replacements for than the blue. Uh, there was one color of the green that I could not actually find an exact match for anywhere. Spilling orange everywhere. <laughs> but... I did, I did find pretty close. Uh, that mostly only became a problem when I was doing the siding for, for the thing, because as I said, I did decide to do it as a shadow box. Originally I was just going to do it as a flat image where it was all just one layer, and then I'm like, you know what, that's kind of boring. I want to make it like, I want to make it 3D, I want to make it cool. So, uh, 
so yeah, so I, I figured out layers and how far I wanted to bring what up and how to support it and stuff like that, and I had a lot of fun with it. And I do like that what ended up happening with having to take out that middle section, because now if you look at it from the front you can't see it, but if you turn it around you get the big secret, and it's really cool. Uh, but it's only there if you, you'll only see it if you turn it around. So it's like, shh, it's a secret to everyone. Except for the people it's not a secret to. Um, but yeah, overall it was pretty, pretty relaxing and enjoyable. There were moments where I was kind of getting frustrated just because of the beads weren't cooperating. Um, I was actually using my jewelry tweezers in order to put the beads down because the tweezers that came with it were like these big honkin' plastic things. I had used those in the Wishsayer one and they suck. They are so hard to like keep a grip on the freaking beads. Like it, it, the beads just pop out and the just, you can't, you know, like maneuver them. That just, these big honking plastic things are not meant for these little tiny. So I had my very precise tiny, tiny tweezers that I used where I was able to like grab the inside of it. There was actually a lot of times where I'd put both pieces on the inside and then let it open up to kind of like, it, it would like hold it from the inside. I don't, yeah. And then I just kind of let it drop down onto the peg. Um, but I had up on my laptop screen, I had the, the picture pulled up so I could match it as good as I could to uh, the pegboard. I think I did change the dimensions a little bit here and there on the pegboard. Uh, but overall it's, it's pretty close. Uh, I did add in a few extra like Sakura petals and such like that. Uh, I think I changed the position of some of the clouds as well. And I think I also changed the tree a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty much exact. And uh, yeah, I really like how it came out. It was a bit tricky. Um, you can see that I wasn't actually finished with the grass when I started on Chiburitsu. That's because I did run out of the green, but I didn't want to stop working. So I just skipped over to working on Chibi uh, in order to keep going until I could get more green. Because I was working on this at, you know, four in the morning, so it's not exactly like I could just hop over to the shop. Uh, because I actually work graveyard shift, so I'm awake when the rest of the world is asleep. Uh, but overall, I really had fun using the beads, just like I did with the, the Wishsayer and the Wind Waker ones and I really enjoy them and I want to do more of them. They are they are time consuming if you're doing bigger ones like this. But they're pretty satisfying, especially like as you see it coming together. Like when it's normal speed it's not quite as satisfying. But when you see it sped up like this it's like, yeah, yeah, I like that. Um there is one thing. I depending on who I watch do it they melt it to different levels. Like some people like melt it the whole way so that you can't even see that there was a hole for the beads. Uh, there's other people that only just melt it enough that everything stays connected. There's people that kind of go in the middle. And I honestly can't decide which look I like best. So this one's sort of an amalgamation of all of them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just which one do you guys think looks best when it's completely and utterly melted down so that there's no holes or when it still kind of has that holy pixel look? I mean, it still looks like pixels when it's all melted down, but it's like a slightly different kind of pixel look. I don't, I don't know how to... What do you guys prefer? Because I can't decide. There, there you can see my, my special little bit in the background. Can you read it? You'll, you'll see it from the right direction later on. Uh, but, yeah. Overall, I'm really happy with this one. I like how the layers turned out and how everything came together. And I hope you like it as well.
So this is the end of this video. Um, I did say at the beginning of Linktober I'm trying to do something a little different with my videos to make them more entertaining. However, I did record this way before Linktober, like several months before Linktober. So that wasn't really in mind then, but uh, I am going to try to make my videos a little better from here on. And I hope to see you around. Until till till the next time. Bye.